All right, so question nine. Pia needs to borrow $80,000 to renovate her house. She is aiming to repay the loan over seven years. Let's just highlight some money and some time. Um, and is investigating two loan options. Option A has a loan of 6.25% per annum, um, compounding monthly uh, with no setup and or ongoing fees, okay. Option B is a loan with an interest rate of 6.15% per annum, compounding monthly again, with a $200 setup fee and $7 monthly fee. Calculate the comparison rate for option B. Okay, so this is a step-by-step -step thing. It doesn't want A. Well, A's comparison rate is just 6.25% anyway, because there's no fees. Um, but the first thing that we need to do is this N I P V P M T F V um, P Y and C Y. First thing that we need to do is do a PMT comparison, uh, get a PMT. Now the end's going to be, it's a seven year loan, so seven multiplied by, and it's compounding monthly. So seven by 12. The interest rate, we're doing B, aren't we? So 6.15%. The present value is 80,000. Now this is a loan, isn't it? Yep, so 80,000, so I'm taking that out. That'll be positive. Uh, the future value, well, we're wanting to repay it, so it'll be zero. The PY, well, that'll be 12 and 12. So the first thing we do is a TMV calculation. So this is my apps, TMV solver. And we go 7 by 12. My interest rate is 6.15%, 80,000. Uh, PMT, I don't know. Future value, zero. 12 and 12, uh, the PMT is what I want to calculate. So my PMT is going to be approximately uh, negative 1174.4 uh, without fees. So let's just put this in without fees, just so I'm acknowledging that. Then I want to put this back into one of these. So N I P V P M T. Oh, hang on. I need to do that with the um, setup fee added to it. So that'll be 80,200. Be slightly different to what I did. My mistake. 80,200. It won't be much different. Uh, 1177.38. Bunch of a razable pen. Um, 1177.38. So that was step one, add the fees to it um, and then calculate the PMT. Uh, now I need to do the future value, uh, the PY and the CY. Now the N will still be seven by 12. What I'm after is the comparison rate, which is the I. The present value now I'm doing it for the original loan of 80,000. The PMT is going to be my um, negative, I'm just going to be negative at the front, 1177.38, add on with my fees, my monthly fee is 7. Do that in brackets or you can just do the negative without the brackets but you've got to subtract 7, just got to be careful with that. Uh, your future values still be 0, uh, your PY and CY are still 12. So therefore the I is going to be approximately, uh, I want to, I'm just going to do it this way for this, subtract my seven onto there, make this that, everything else is right, yep. And you can see here that that's going to be approximately 6.41%. So therefore, um, option B's, B's uh, comparison rate is approx 6.41%. All right, complete the statement below. Option something something is the loan that represents the better value because, well, the better value will be the lower comparison rate. 
So it will be option A. So option A option offers the better value because it has the lower comparison rate. Has the lower comparison rate. All right. So only the bank that offers option A has approved Pia's loan application. She borrows $80,000 at 6.25% per annum, compound monthly for seven years. So I'm gonna re-highlight that so I know what I'm dealing with. Um, show that the minimum monthly repayment is approximately $1,180. So this will be one of those N, I, P, V, P, M, T, F, V, uh, P, Y, C, Y, because it's a compound interest loan. Uh, it's seven years, it's compounding monthly, isn't it? So seven by 12. Uh, the interest rate is 6.25%. Uh, the present value is 80,000. I'm borrowing that, so it'll be a positive. Uh, PMT, have we, cal no, that's what we're calculating. Future value, I'm paying it off, and then it's 12 and 12. So it's just TMV solver again. Uh, seven by 12, uh, interest rate 6.25%, uh, 80,000. PMT is what I'm after, zero, 12, 12, so PMT. So therefore, PMT is approximately negative one one seven eight point uh, three zero. So therefore, who are we dealing with? Peer, peers, um, monthly minimum, minimum monthly repayment is approx. $1,178.30, which is close to that, which means I've probably got that correct, which is always a good feeling. So, now, show that peers outstanding debt three months after taking out the loan will be approximately this. Well, that's just one of these again. So, N, I, P, V, P, M, T, uh, F, V, P, Y, and C, Y. Now the big thing about this is probably just understanding that if you weren't able to get this value um, close to this, use the value here. Um, don't not use a value and just not answer this question, just use the one that it gave you here. If you couldn't get something anywhere near close to it. If you did get close to it, just use this because that's what I've got. So the PMT in this case is negative 1178.30. I'm gonna indicate that's an approximate. Uh, the N is three months, so it'll just be three. The interest rate, that was 6.25%. Uh, the present value, that was my 80,000. Uh, the future value is what I'm calculating. The PY and CY are both 12. So therefore, future value is approximately, um, and you just go back and change these values. So three. Uh, 6.25, 8,000, that's fine. Future value is what I'm wanting. So let's solve that. So you can see here the future value is gonna be a negative value. That's how much, yeah, that's how much is in the bank. So that's fine. Um, so it's approximately negative uh, 77703.19. Uh, so therefore, Pia um, is outstanding balance um, after three months is approx seven. 7703.19, you can see that's pretty close as well, which is good. All right, so in that time, Pia sells some of her furniture for $4,000. She deposits this money in an offset account um, 
that is attached to the her loan account. If Pia continues uh, the minimum monthly repayments in Part C, how long will it take for her to repay uh, the loan now that she has $4,000 in the offset account? Now, how long? It's not how much longer. That's something I am reading about this. So it's how long total. So it's including the three months that we've got up here. Um, we'll take the repay the loan. Now that there's $4,000 in the offset account. So first of all, I need to do an end calculation. Uh, when my interest rate is 6.25%, my present value is, and once again, if you didn't get this value close to here, just use the one that's here. Uh, so it's present value, it's how much money I still will have alone. So that'll be 77703.19. I'm gonna indicate that's an approximate. Um, but you're also reducing it by 4,000. So I've got to minus the 4,000 off as well. My PMT, I'm assuming that we're maintaining the same amount. I'm assuming that's what it says. Continues the minimum up through payment. Excellent. So that'll be approximate negative 1178.30. My future value, I'm repaying it fully. So that'll be zero. Uh, PY is 12. CY is 12. All right, so let's now put it all into my calculator. So I'm looking at finding my N, so I don't know my N. Uh, my interest rate is 6.25. My present value is that, but subtracting my 4,000. Um, my PMT is what it is, future value zero. Yep, that's fine. So when we do that, my N is going to be approximately 76 months, you can see, so 76 months extra so it'll take 77 months total so therefore um, it will take it will take uh, not as uh, 76 plus the three so 79 um, a total of 79 months for Pia to repay the loan. Now, so my months, and now I'm gonna put in here 76 extra months. So that way, what all I'm really doing here is just covering both bases, just in case they want me to understand that it was the 76 extra months, but 79 months total. Um, so I'm just making sure that the examiner, when they mark my test, if they were to mark it, that they really do know that I understand what that 76 represents. So calculate approximately how much interest will be saved by using the offset account. Now, interest saved, I tend to do this as one calculation. So interest saved. First of all, you've got to work out how much you're actually going to pay. So this will be an approximation. Um, so how much you're going to pay is your PMT. So that will be your uh, 1,178.30. That's how much you're always paying into it. And what I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do it for the original loan. So if you weren't gonna do any of this. So the original loan was seven by 12. So it'll be multiplied by seven, multiplied by 12. That's right. They're gonna subtract off how much you would have paid um, in total using this strategy. So you can see here it's a 79 months total. So you're gonna have 79 by your 1178.30, how much you're paying each month, but you also got that $4,000 that you had to put aside. So you gotta be very careful about that 4,000 at the end. And now you're whacking this one into the calculator. So this will be $1,178.30 multiplied by seven, multiplied by 12. Then subtract your 79 by 1178.3 and subtract the $4,000 as well. And you'll find that the total interest saved is gonna be approximately one thousand eight hundred and ninety one dollars and fifty cents.
All right, this is the last question. It is fantastic. All right, so the last question is, uh, state one assumption that might have affected the amount of interest saved by using the offset account. Well, there's actually quite a number of them here. Um, the first one is that um, the amount of money in the offset account, this is probably what I'm thinking about, the amount of money in the offset account, because this is something that you can draw upon all the time. So the amount of money in the offset account remains stable at $4,000. Um, so the amount of money in the offset account remains constant at $4,000. For me, that would be the easiest one to think about. Um, you might discuss the effects of it if you've got time in the exam as well, um, about what happens if it doesn't remain at that. Um, but things that you could also consider um, that are probably easy enough to talk about is a lot of offset accounts have fees and stuff attached to them. So we're assuming that this offset account doesn't have any fees here, which will affect things. Um, the other thing that offset accounts um, do have, not all offset accounts have a 100% offset to them. So sometimes they might only have a 50% offset or something like that. But we're assuming that the whole $4,000, 100% of that is being offset from the actual account itself. All right. Um, other than that, uh, that's the end of the exam. Um, I hope uh, it's been of value sitting through uh, the questions with me. And um, yeah, I hope it's been of value and help to you.